hello how are you doing thank you so much for joining me and i hope you're doing great so you see the success trip to colombia has really opened some eyes to the truth of what the successes are capable of the way they have uh, brought out so much good out of colombia the way they have shown the world what colombia entails of is a beautiful thing and even though the British media and the royal family have been crying so much about this, I believe at the end of the day, majority of us can agree on the fact that Harry and Meghan have a star power that these other members of that family don't. And apart from that, they're also very hardworking. So I found this a very interesting video by Tim Wilson. I found this video very interesting. So Tom Wilson is an English academic, animator, media and YouTube personality, political analyst and former politician. And this is what he had to say about this Harry and Meghan's visit to Colombia. It, it, it seems frankly a big step away from the rather formal royal visits of the past. It, it really is time for members of that family to get around a table and sort this out because Harry and Meghan are showing the way to do things in a way that other members of the family really are not. This was a trip which was fraught with diplomatic and security dangers and uh, Harry and Meghan have embraced those and negotiated those with a plomb with a dignity that is becoming of their status as members of the royal family uh, it's not um, it's not that Harry needs them it's that they need him and Meghan Everything this man said is the complete truth. When he says that Harry and Meghan are showing the way things are done in a way that the other members of that family don't know, that is exactly what it is. The other members of that family don't know anything about um, inter interacting with people. They don't know how to relate with people. They don't know how to be real with people the same way that Harry and Meghan do. And when he said that Harry and Meghan handled everything perfectly and with dignity on this trip to Colombia, I was like, bingo, they surely did. Despite all the negative stories that were being printed about them and Colombia by the notorious UK media, the Sussexes did an amazing job. They were able to uh, block out the UK media as they should have. And they actually just portrayed this country in a whole other different level, which is amazing. They didn't let all the negative things that are all the negative things that were being said about them and Colombia affect them on this trip. And that is dignity. And he talks about how uh, the royal family need to sit down and resolve their issues with the Sussexes because Harry and Meghan don't need them, but it's the royal family who need Harry and Meghan. Tim Wilson hit the nail on the head when he said that. Well, how many times have we, have we been seeing this? How many times have we said this? The Sussexes don't need the royal family in any capacity. It's the royal family who actually need this star power that the Sussexes need. They need these connections that the Sussexes have with other countries in order for this monarchy to survive. Otherwise, uh, apart from that, the Sussexes don't need anything from this family. In fact, cutting them off is the best decision because what they have been doing to the Sussexes is dragging them down for a long time. Leaking stories about them to the British media, collaborating with these same media that is harassing them on a daily basis. So cutting them off is the best thing. And honestly, I don't think these people will even sit down and have a discussion about how they might bring the Sussexes back in. 
because one thing i'm sure about is that the sussexes don't want to come back into that gilded cage and even if this family have a sit down the only things they'll be discussing is how they might continue smearing the sussexes over and over again how they might try to destroy them but apart from that i don't think anything positive might come out of a meeting like that so yeah thank you so much tim wilson for hitting the nail on the head everything you said about harry and megan's visit was completely true and yeah, another thing that I wanted to share with you is this Vanity Fair article, uh, which was titled Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have reinvented the royal tour. And let me just tell you, the comment section was filled with bitter, bitter people. The trolls definitely were going mad over the fact that uh, Vanity Fair was telling the truth of what it actually is. The Sussexes are reinventing the royal tour. They're doing things differently and the world is seeing it. But the trolls definitely don't like to be told that because in their heads, uh, they've convinced themselves otherwise. And let me just read you one part of this article. So they said, the Duchess connected honestly with a group of regular people in a country other royals might not have been able to visit at least not in an official capacity and the scenes were a reminder of what the Windsors are now missing that she and harry have set up their own court in santa barbara well that is true we all saw the connection that the sussexes were able to forge in Col in colombia and it was beautiful to watch and of course the royal family is missing out a lot they'd rather be beaten up than for them to admit that fact and vanity fair went ahead to highlight all the positive things about this trip they talked about francia marquez that is the vice president of colombia and what she admired the most about the sussexes and the reason why she even invited them to colombia so everything about this piece was just so amazing and then let me skip to the part where they were talking about um the Sunday Times and what they published about Harry, uh, that is, while they were on their trip to Colombia. So they wrote saying, over the weekend, the Sunday Times published an in-depth look at Harry's life and career with commentary from some of the friends and employees he left behind in the UK who worry that his California lifestyle might not be enough to sate the prince's ambitions. Ambitions. Well, thank you very much, Vanity Fair, for highlighting the fact that they are left behind in the UK. Those are Harry's past, but they still want to make themselves look like they're still very close to Harry and they know everything about Harry. The fact is, Harry has moved on from that life that he used to live in while in the UK. Right now, he is a father. He is a a husband and he has a whole family to take care of and he also has other jobs that he needs to do so he can't be parting around the same way that he used to do when he was a bachelor and they even talked about how a former ad told the newspaper that uh, what is the purpose of prince harry and what is prince harry's purpose Adding, the work with Invictus is great and fatherhood was the role he most wanted, so perhaps those are enough for him. But everything else is a bit woolly. I always thought he wanted more from life. I can't help but think he must be wondering, where do I get from here? And then Vanity Fair corrects this by saying, in Colombia, Harry's answer to that question was on display. And if his former confidants were able to see it up close, maybe they would not be so confused. In their, royal, uh, in their past royal work, Meghan and Harry have tried to change up the old royal routine. In May, a firm Onyema, the CEO of Gianco Foundation, who accompanied the couple on their Nigerian trip, told Vanity Fair that their goals are about doing, not just looking. And quoting Onyema's words, he said, I was really touched when they said, it's not just going to be a speech and a photo op. They want to leave something, leave a legacy. 
that's very important to them from my experience with them and their team leaving a legacy and impact and really helping people in direct tangible ways and um haven't we seen all that like that is what these successes are actually about bringing change they don't just do things for the sake of it they don't go to places just to be taken pictures of they want to be a force of change in this society. They are people who speak and act on it, which is so beautiful. You know, everything I've seen of the Sussexes, uh, wherever they go, they actually leave a legacy. And, you know, I'm sure in years to come, people will remember these visits that they have been making over the past years because they impacted so many people's lives. So thank you, thank you very much, Harry and Megan. And just know that we are watching all your actions and we applaud you. We are always going to cheer you on because you are amazing human beings. And you've truly reinvented the real style of doing things. So we applaud you so much and thank you, thank you for the good work that you're doing. So that is what I wanted to share with you for today. You can kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about what we've discussed. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Bye.